create a component library, the first thing I need is something to add to it. I'm going to go into the file that Gary has on his website. It's a collection of Windsor One molding profiles. I'll select this crown and copy it. Move back to my original drawing and paste it. If I go to Window and down to Components, it's going to open up another window. This allows me to navigate through the different libraries of components that are stored on my computer. This down arrow will allow me to look at the different uh, libraries. Most of these come preloaded with SketchUp. Uh, I've added my components that uh, I use to store my personal collection. The house icon will show components that are in my model at this time. And you'll notice that there's nothing in it right now. That's because this entity that I uh, moved in is actually a group. That's just the way it was created uh, in the original file. I'm going to right click on it and explode it. And then I'll right click again and we'll make a component out of it. I'll call this crown. Create. Now you'll notice that that uh, crown shows up in model. If I click this button here, I'll have the option to save as local collection. Click on that. Now I have the uh, option to add a place where I'd like to put this new uh, collection. I'm just going to put it in the desktop uh, for this example. I'll say make a new folder and we'll call it uh, moldings. Click again and I've got the option to add to favorites. Now that I've added it to favorites, I have the ability to access this uh, from any drawing that I'm in uh, at any time when I'm using SketchUp. This uh, button here will open up the uh, secondary selection pane. If I uh, look at it, it's pretty much identical to the first one. I can navigate through all the different uh, libraries that are stored on my computer. If you'll notice, uh, Moldings is now included in that uh, favorites library. If I click on it, I get a view of what's inside that library. Right now it's that uh, crown profile that I added. If I go back to the collection, maybe grab a stool profile. I'll copy that and we'll uh, paste it. Uh, again, go through the same process. You'll see it's not included in my model right now because it's not a component. I'll explode it. Right click again and make a component. We'll call it stool and create. Now it's showing up inside my model. If I want to add it to this collection, I can just drag it down.